am Llama Deuce. I'm going to be creating a tutorial here on how to create a level in Halo Custom Edition. Uh, this is part one, and I mean, uh, part one and part two will both teach you a little bit about 3ds Max. Uh, part one is going to be more setting up the environment um, so that you can create your level. Um, I'm going to start out in 3ds Max 8 by making everything a one viewport. Click the bottom right hand corner button for that. Uh, that way I have a whole bunch of space to work with. Um, I'm going to want to create a box. This box is your reference frame for uh, tool and uh, the JMS exporter so that it actually knows what to export. And all you really need to know is to name it frame. Um, and then I'm going to import, or no, I'm going to merge something from, if you go to the Halo Custom Edition root directory, go to data, levels, test, tutorial, and then go to models, uh, you click on tutorial.max and click open. Just click Master Chief and then click OK. Uh, right now you can't see it because it's actually off the viewport. If you hit Z, it'll zoom right in on that object. But I'm going to move it right over to the middle so that it's easier to play with. Um, that is the actual size of a Master Chief or a Spartan in. Halo Custom Edition, so we're going to use this just to uh, basically scale our level so that we know how big we need to make everything. Um, and then for this tutorial, or for part one, I'm just going to create a simple plane. I'm going to have one length and one width segment. Uh, right click it, convert to editable mesh and then I'm going to link it to the frame. Uh, you're going to want to name it Skybox. Uh, the name doesn't really matter um, for this. It's just so that when you have a list of objects, like if you hit H, you can see what you're dealing with. Um, you can see that the frame is the parent of the skybox. So anything that's actually attached to the frame, uh, it'll export as your level when you export it. Um, but I think that's all I'm going to show you for uh, part one here, because I don't want to get too much into modeling in part one. So yeah, hang around for part two. Later.